Hoy, and then kapala, and and di tana na malaka. And today I'm so excited because this is an unboxing that I have been waiting for to happen. So tara. So yeah, this just arrived. Like, uh, what time is it? Maybe. 20 30 minutes ago normally i would jump right in and open the box especially if it's this specific plant it's because anyway, well yeah you know i have a daughter and she's actually watching pokoyo so if you do hear that she's also excited i'm just excited and we're gonna go ahead and do this this is actually my first time ordering from them and it's plants and pampering they are from Eustace, Florida and I got this as a priority mail because you will you 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 just got to have it for priority mail because you have to and actually I've been looking for this plant for a long while now and I am again thankful for my friend my plant friend in or yen of at these leaves underscore for sharing me this people or these sellers that they have this because yeah i've been trying to find this and people are just giving me false hope and blah, blah, blah. i'm gibbering jabbering here so they do have a certificate that they are a legit nursery and yes they are nursery so they are not poaching these plants these are plants um their plants are reasonably or what they call it they are ethically propagating and growing plants they are not sourcing it as if it was poached out of the out of nature and another one nematode certification of inspection for shipping nursery to california because apparently californians yes californians are very specific about their laws that's why i love being a nurse here you do this to me i sue you you do that to me i sue you i'm well protected yeah there's pros and cons of being a Californian. And here, thank you for your support. And look at this. They even have a, a note. Thank you, Joanne, for supporting our shop. I hope you love this anthurium. Yes, it is an anthurium. We've selected. They need really high humidity and something to attach to. Attach to will help develop mature leaves. Stay well, Abe and Joe. Oh, I did not know that. I thought Anturium doesn't need um, moss pole or something like that. Well, I guess I'm gonna need to buy one. But yeah, opening. So it was packed like this. And just like what I said, um, they are legit licensed nurseries. They do um, cultivate their own plants. They did get like, of course, obviously they have to start somewhere, but it is legally sourced as they are <laughs> okay i don't know what i'm yapping about but let's go i might fast forward this part because i want to gingerly open it they pack it really really well Whoa. Ah, you saw it you guys saw it uh. okay so here's our plant it is a juvenile form of hoya, uh, hoya of anthurium catacuensi just like i said it this one is so i didn't say it actually so this is a juvenile form of anthurium catacuensi i'm gonna insert a picture of a mature form here it is an endangered um I think almost like it's endangered or extinct out in nature already so you can only get it I, almost like a philodendron spiritus sancti there is more in cultivation than there is out in nature so yeah i would only get one from a reputable nursery or a reputable source so you know that you are not hurting the environment further because obviously with the hype or with the yeah i guess it's hype with the increase of demand of how house plants they are just po poachers are fueled by the want or the greed to actually get them out of nature and sell it to us who are naive i'm sorry for using that word just want to collect 
because of the hype of all of these plants but yeah source your plant responsibly i'll always say that from like i guess i've been saying that lately in my previous videos because yeah why not that's the way it's supposed to be we do want to protect i don't know i'm keep on gibby jabbering here but this is my hoya oh, anthurium catacoensi i'm gonna show you guys how i end up setting it up i did order some other plants i mean i did order a setup for this because just like what you said what abe and joe mentioned it does need high humidity and apparently it also need um something to attach to for it to mature like the mature leaves as you saw i'm gonna insert it here again it has three fingers and that ribbing it's just gorgeous so again thank you very much plant plants and pampering or abe and joe for selecting this plant i cannot wait for this to thrive OMG, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Also gonna link their website down below. They do their restock every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So for us here in the Pacific timeline, that's 3 p.m. in the afternoon every Friday. And yeah, thank you very much. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Hopefully it thrives in my care. Here's the setup that I have put together for this Anthurium Katakoensi. And if you do want me to go over it in detail, just comment down below and I'll do a separate video on it. But in the meantime, so this is what I've decided to do with it. It is a glass dome, almost like the rose from Beauty and the Beast. I also provided it uh, an LED light. Is I have put it in this corner as apparently this anthurium prefers to have cooler temperatures especially at night time so I did put it here in this corner which doesn't receive any light so gotta be supplemented with it and this is it I do think it likes it because I do see some condensation on the plant's drip tip as you see there and it does accumulate some humidity in the glass dome it is potted in leka as you can see here and i am really looking forward to have it thrive in my care and i just need to add a pole or something like that but a smaller one so it can climb hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions comment down below like subscribe if you want to see more of my content here on youtube and also follow us on instagram at gillians underscore plant underscore corner kita kita tayo and may you always be blessed